Hello plant friends, my name is Victoria and you're watching Plantastics. Today I'm going to be showing you my Hoya collection as well as some very short and to the point care advice. So I'm going to start by showing you this one. This is my Hoya Crimson Queen and it's actually two separate plants. I purchased this one a really long time ago and by that I mean probably like I think it was late summer so I've had this one for the longest it's grown very little because it had so many white leaves and it's like honestly I have I had so many white leaves like it was kind of crazy so this one is a more recent one and it has just like really taken off and I'm guessing it just really likes where it is it's in a terracotta pot it gets morning Sun we've got some roots coming out of the bottom and it's kind of cool that the leaves turn pink and then they fade to white. I think that's really pretty. And I really enjoy this one and I made this with wire. So that is my oldest. And then I have this one. I really like this one. This one's the Hoya Wayetii and it is so cool and fun. It's got different types of variegation. Each leaf is unique. And that's something that I really enjoy. Like this one's completely half and half green and variegation. We've got a solid green. And then I do have some new growth in the middle here. And then this one's in a clear pot. So I'll show you the roots. If I can get it turned around here. But... So this is Hoya Hoyetii. This one's Hoya Grisalis. And I have these little pins here. I highly recommend you get them. You can also use bobby pins. I used those because I wanted a fuller pot. It was starting to trail down, so I just took them and pinned them in. I've got some new growth coming out right here. And this is the Hoya Grisalis. Next is the Hoya Latifolia. Some people are still going to call it the old name, which is the Macrophylla. And this one is one of the ones where the leaves kind of look like a beetle or a turtle. And I just find that really endearing. This one hasn't put out any new leaves for me. And I'm thinking about moving it and repotting it into just a little bit of a larger pot. I think it's had time to acclimate to my home, so it won't be too much of a stress for it. The next one is actually two different Hoyas. I'm not really sure what the other one is, but um, one of them is the Carnosa Exotica Tricolor. And that's what this one is. And then this one I got out of swap, and they look similar, but I don't think that they're the same kind. So that is my Hoya Carnosa Exotica Tricolor. And the next two are propagations. So the first and only Hoya that I've ever had before I got back into Hoyas was the Indian Rope Vine. So <clears throat> What would be more fitting than to get one at a plant swap? I started this in moss and then once it got roots, I moved it to water. And then once the roots got really nice and like a lot, I guess, um, I moved it to soil. So it's still getting used to soil. It has put out a new leaf, which is nice. But yeah, I'm so excited to have this one and it is the outer variegated form of the Indian rope vine. And then the most alien and most fascinating Hoya to me is the Hoya linearis and I also got this one at a plant swap. I got the the overwhelming thing that everyone said to do was to put them straight in soil and propagate that way so that's what I did. They said that the roots are incredibly delicate and small so just transferring from moss to soil would cause a lot of damage. And this one has been in here for not very long, so there's not a lot of growth. And I have 
fought everything in my being not to try to pull them up and see if there are any roots. <clears throat> so these are my Hoyas. So what soil am I using? So I am using my favorite and go-to, which is Miracle Grow, and it seems to be working pretty well. So unlike the other plants that I have, I don't really bottom water these. What I've been doing is I've been using my mister and when the plant is bone dry I pretty much am misting <clears throat> not the leaves but the soil and I'm just missing it just enough to where that the water is coming out of the bottom and then I'm putting it back into the pots. So that seems to be working especially with this one. That's what i had been doing with this one and it seems to be really happy. The others I haven't had honestly for as long as a period of time. So they just haven't had a chance really to grow for me. But yeah, I'm so excited to be into Hoyas. Hopefully in the future I'll have some more videos. And um, I hope to get them to bloom. And I plan on using the African Violet fertilizer. And just putting it in my mister in the spring. And just giving everybody a nice drink of that. Because I really want to see them bloom. I have seen them and they're just so pretty and they look porcelain and just perfect. So I hope that next time I have a video I'll be showing you and sharing my blooms with you. So until that time I will see you next time. Goodbye.